Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry from Bell Souls back again with another quick Bulls unboxing and today we have some of the accessories for Warhammer 40k Apocalypse. We've got the different movement tray sets, all three of those, and of course the extra command assets uh, which we'll go over here in a bit. So that said, let's go ahead and dive on in and I think I want to start with the classic 25 millimeter movement trays here. Um, it's kind of ironic, it's not lost on me the irony of GW bringing back movement trays, but here they are. Oh, let me show the back of the box off real quick. Uh, you get uh, some basic movement trays, and we're going to take a look and see how many there are in here. So I think it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 times 2 is 18. So let me go ahead and pull this out real fast. Oh, that's weird. There's a piece of foam in here, and it looks like there's more trays. Yeah, okay. So these are packed kind of strange. Okay, we got these little sheets of paper in between each one. That's everything in the box and this piece of foam. Okay, uh, so yeah, here's the trays for the 25 millimeter movement trays. Just a sheet of paper in between each one to keep them from scratching, I guess. Um, they look like they have a number in there on the inside. I don't know if you can see that. This one is B25 right here. I kind of see that right there. And I think this one was probably A25. I don't know if that's the tray number and then the size. Is this one C? Yep. And D. Yep. I'm detecting a pattern here. E, F, G. Yep. H, I. Yep. Okay. And then I'm guessing these are either J or. No, it's A25. So this is just two stacks of those. Um. Kind of see them here <laughs> so yeah a bunch of movement trays you get the idea um here let me just do this real quick what i like about these movement trays is they're all basically the same shape um some of them yeah are let's see okay these are all the same rough shape however the um the inserts are slightly different you can actually see here like there's a indention to where you're gonna put your guys and actually I've got some Necrons I can show you what I'm talking about here some rando dudes now they've they only go in one way because there's a bit of a lip so they're gonna fit like so and if you wanted to have a second set you can tessellate these meaning to rotate um, however you like so that if you wanted to do oh, if you want to do a battle line, that'd be pretty easy to do. I kind of wish these uh, were, like, they didn't punch the hole out so that you could magnetize the bottom. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but I would have liked to do that. But theoretically, yeah, you can stack them side by side, have two separate ones. Uh, they fit kind of snugly, however you want to line them up. Yeah, again, they rotate around. You can do some fun stuff. Yeah, so there's the 25 mil versions. Um, let's keep going here. I'm going to cut real fast, clean these up, and we'll take a look at the other two boxes. All right, next up, the 40 millimeter trays. Uh, this one is going to have a slightly different setup here. You've got uh, three of the kind of full size, and you also have a three so set and a two set, and there's actually times two. So we should get six of the full sets, two of the threes, and two of the twos. If, uh, if the pattern holds true from the previous one. And these are your 40 millimeter Terminator size bases. And oh, just gonna pull these all out at once. All right, no foam insert thing in the middle here. And there's your uh, set of two and set of three. And another set of three. And then two and a three. Okay, wait a minute. These are all twos and threes. What? Oh, okay. So they just show you on the side of the box that there's actually there you can't make you can't really tell, but there's actually a seam on each one of these. Oh, that's that's actually even better, I think. <laughs> okay, yeah, they're all twos and threes and twos and threes. Interesting. Um, yeah. So I guess you can play around with some shapes real fast. Everybody loves shapes, right? So yeah, these all tessellate however you want to set them up. 
rotate them around. Yeah, make them all giant gears. I wonder if we could do like a gear shift thing where they're... No, I'm not going to do that. But those are the 40 millimeters. Uh, you get quite a few of all of these. So that's... Uh, um, should be 10 sets. Or not 10 sets. Sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4 times 2. Yes, yeah, 8. 8 sets. Let me just count them real quick. I'm, counting, I'm picking up all the threes. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, eight sets total. Da da da. The math is true. So there you have them. Uh, let's take a look at the 32 mils in there. You know, before I do that, I just want to call this out. Uh, the sets of two are slightly different. Uh, if you notice, they have like a wider version here. I think you get. I want to say probably four of these. Yeah, four of the wider ones and then four of these narrow versions. And you can see the difference when I stack them all up. So I don't know why the sides are, are, are narrower, but they are, but you can, and you can see them here comparatively. So th this is just like a thicker, yeah. <laughs> Don't know why they did it, but that's that's how how it rolls, how GW rolls. So there's four of these and four of these to make the sets of of, of eight total for uh, for for these <laughs> 40 mil trays, movement trays. Interesting. All right, on to the 32s. All right, 32 millimeter movement trays. Here we are again. There are one, two, three, four, five, six times two should be 12. We'll see. We will see. Now they stack these up, okay. And there's a strange, there's a piece of, an L-shaped piece of foam, okay. <laughs> I guess they didn't have a box that fit them. But there you are, there's the, there you go. And I wonder if they're all the same shape or not. Um, or if they are different, like, uh, like the, 25 millimeter ones are different. No, so far they're the same. Again, you can feel the ring on the inside to kind of tell which way is which. Ah, they are different, as you can see. I've got these stacked up so that the ring is on the top. And there are, it looks like, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, or, and I wonder if these are going to be... So do these all... See, they're off. Ah, interesting. Are these off? They were off, okay. So that's going to go like that. These are going to go here. This one is going to go with that stack. No, it's not. Different. It's a different one. Oh... Okay, this is this is uh, this is a little surprising. So as you guys can see, there are actually three different kind of molds, and I'm trying to make sure I've got them all. Maybe four different molds. Yeah. Let's see. Do I have them all stacked up? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I know it sounds like I'm just playing with the stacks, but that's kind of strange. Are they inverted? No. No. Okay, so it looks like, and these don't fit with those. Okay, well there you have it. So there's four different styles of tray. They're all slightly different. Some of, I mean, it's basically you know they're basically the same shapes but as you can see they, they just have slightly different patterns on the on like the last kind of dude hanging out so yeah just want to mention that uh interesting but that's all of the movement trays uh i'm actually really excited about using these <laughs> in not just apocalypse but also in uh other games workshop games like age of sigmar i'm really excited about movement trays uh, <laughs> 
for uh, for my different units. So, yeah, I think these are going to get a lot of play, a lot of use out of all the different stuff. Uh, last but not least, let's check out the other command assets. All right, here's the other uh, command asset deck. And real fast, this uh, is a different set of cards than what you'll find in the core box. So if you are curious, uh, this box has 300 cards that are command assets. This box is an additional 100 cards that are distinct and different from the ones in here. Just want to mention that um, in case you were curious. Okay, so what all is in the, this deck? Again, it is another 100 cards. These are, uh, set contains 100 additional command asset cards with new command assets for every faction for use in games of Apocalypse. Again, these are different. Uh, I want to say that just to make sure everybody's aware. And these are, you know, just different things all around. Uh, again, for each faction, we've got Chaos, some generic ones, Heretic Astartes, uh, the Drukhari, um, all the different ones, Legion Demonica, Legion's Demonica, um, yeah, Orcs, you get the idea, Harlequins, Imperial Guard, Necrons, Tyranids, all that fun stuff. Here's one, Adeptus Astartes, Psychic Power, Engulfing Fear. Uh, in order to use these command assets, don't forget, you have to meet the requirement to include in your deck. Some of these are generic, some of these require things like a Dark Angel Psyker has to be uh, in your army to include this card. So, yeah. Demolitions. There's some generic ones again. Demolitions, Resupply, Divine Intervention, Finest Hour, which was actually... <laughs> it's interesting. Finest Hour was an ability from uh, Apocalypse 2.0 that they have made a command card out of. That's kind of cool. So, yeah. There you go. That's 100 extra cards, different abilities, different powers. Uh, that's everything in the command assets. And, of course, all three of the boxes uh, for the movement trays. That's pretty much everything in terms of accessories. Uh, we uh, are expecting, also don't forget the dice, and uh, that's pretty much all the extras for Apocalypse, uh, for Apocalypse 3.0. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this one. I'm Adam here from Bowl signing off. Have a good one. to subscribe check out more videos and thanks for watching